Yo guys, what is going on? It is your guy Nick from Run The Foot Market here. Uh, tonight guys, I'm bringing you guys a brand new video, obviously. Um, I just wanna say really quickly, I appreciate all the support just everywhere. You know, it's been crazy recently, just all the support you guys have been throwing at me. Uh, it's, it's really too much, so I just wanna say, this video is gonna help you guys. It's another one of those videos where I'm talking about trading tips, um, and it's something that you will be able to do multiple times throughout the year. Um, and the next real time you can do this is, I mean, guys, you could do this tip or method. Um, you can do this basically every, uh, most times people are panic selling weekly teams or just most times when there's a, there's gotta be at least one time a week where there's a market that's kind of either very, very low or, or down. Um, there's multiple times where you can do that, but here are the big times. Like I want to give you guys an example. So this video has to do with panic selling and how to take advantage of it. Now we're not the ones panic selling. We're the investors who are taking the next step and buying off the panic sellers. It's very important to know that we're not the ones that are panic selling. We are buying off the people that are panic selling. Now, what do I define panic selling is? I think it's it's essentially a, it's, it, I don't wanna say it's a technique, but it's it's when people are, it's as simple as it sounds, it's when people are, are freaked out about a certain event that's gonna make their cards go down. So they go sell with everyone else. And when everyone else is panicking, essentially they all keep undercutting each other. And if you don't know what undercutting is, it's your listing under the price of the next cheapest. And they all keep doing that in a very tight window of time. Um, and what happens is they end up going so much lower than they really would have at the actual crash or event. And it's like a whole pre-crash panic selling thing. So I wanna just talk to you guys and show you guys some of the ways you can really, really make some good coins off the whole idea of panic selling. Um, so this guy is, this is Fellaini. Um, and I was looking into him yesterday because I was looking for player of the month investments because I do think Kevin De Bruyne is going to be in the race for player of the month. Um, and this guy is a Belgium inform from Man United. So regardless, a Premier League inform is it's a cycle, guys. They will always go up in the hype for player of the month, which is the second or first Friday of the new month. It's a it's an SPC that gets released and it usually has some requirements and can require inform. So that's why some people like to invest. Um, but Fellaini yesterday was 48K, 47K and he was being panicked all at that price. Now I've seen him this whole FIFA for 55 and 60K around that range. So I saw him go down to 47 and 48 and I knew that that was as cheap as I've ever seen him. So I went ahead, I took advantage, picked him up for 47K and flipped him for 61,500 coins in the matters of like 12 hours, I think. So we're making on the tax after tax, I think we're gonna make around 11 and a half K there, which is 11 and a half or 12K. I don't, my math might be off, it's late, but he's a, like, and I bought five of those. That's what I want you guys to see. Like I bought a ton of those cards. I have a ton of Flanies on my tray pile and it's, it's such a good method and it's so easy to do um, you just need to understand a player's price. Like for example, Yarmolenko wants to watch this card. Every single game this year has gone for 155 to 165 in the pregame hype. Now that's like an hour before the game when he, when the starting lineups are coming out and the game's about to go, everyone goes and snatches him up because they think he's going to have a good game. And that's when he is at the safest time to sell. So when I saw this card at 130 yesterday, I was like, hmm, that's pretty cheap. I'm gonna look and see if I can get something even better. And then I saw someone list this card at 122, which means they undercut by 8K because they were panicking because they thought there was gonna be a big market crash. Now, everyone thought there was gonna be team of the year this Monday. That's why the whole market went down this weekend. And it's why some of you might've wondered why a lot of your cards or investments went down. It was because everyone was panic selling their cards because they thought team of the year was coming and they thought they were gonna lose all their coins and these cards were gonna drop a ton. But I knew team of the year wasn't coming. Um, just because they never would do a team of the year in October. There's no, there's no logical way they would do that. And they were going to, they're going to do it in January. Like they do every year. So I knew that when people were panic selling yesterday, I had to take advantage. I had to go out there, get myself some deals. So I went ahead. I got Yarmolenko for 122 K. And if you look already, I believe he's already 140 K 145 K and he's playing tomorrow. So I'm already in the profit zone there. There's a ton of other cards. Look at this guys. Yesterday I picked up inform Jesus for 300 K. Now, yes, this was kind of a snipe. But he's selling for 350k and in my opinion this card for next weekend will be close to 375 or 400k like it will be around that range for the next weekend league just as it's such a sought after card and i just think that i can't see that card not being up in price from 350 even 350 for me is cheap but i got him at 300 because people were listing so low yesterday it was crazy and this happens multiple times throughout the year right and i would say the best advice i have for you to find great deals is just be patient and use flipping.com. Use your knowledge of watching certain cards. Like don't go do this with a card you don't trade with a lot or you don't know the price trends of it. Don't go out there and just say, hey, I think that looks cheap. Everyone's selling, I'm gonna go pick this up. Make sure you know your market. Like I know that Fellaini has not dipped under 55. So when I saw him around the 48, 49 range, I went ahead and I went all in with that. That one 52, that's a little high, but I picked some up. 
um let's see i want to see if there's anything else and then i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys oh this is a huge one this is a huge one kevin de bruyne inform guys 500k someone listed that at yesterday he was at 570 even in the panic 560 and he usually sits around 600 so he went down to 550 540 yesterday and then someone listed at 500 because they were so scared he was going to go down that they just wanted to get their coins take the loss and run so that's where we take advantage and we go ahead and make a ton of coins as you see here look at this his cheapest right now is 614k 586 and that will sell very quickly if that's not already sold that's a huge undercut and that will sell so even at the lowest right now he's selling for 615 i bought this yesterday yesterday i bought this card guys 500k that means i could wake up the next day the next day guys and i could sell for 615k at the lowest and i would still make after tax that gets taxed about 20 that taxes 30k i would make 80k on this card just by picking it up yesterday because of panic selling and a lot of you wonder what trading methods am i using to get a lot of coins investing whatever you want to call this i don't know what you want to call this the panic selling method i don't know what this method should be called let's call it the panic selling method <laughs> Guys, take advantage of it. It is the most profitable thing. I, I've, I've been doing this for ton of like like tons of FIFAs now. 38K for Immobile. Now he's like 42. This card should be around 50. The panic selling yesterday was crazy. I got a Munier for 48K. Okay, that's not right. That that card that card price is not right, guys. You just have to know when a card is not right. Like, let me i I'm gonna and I'm gonna go on the market and give you guys some examples right now. Because there was crazy, crazy cards yesterday going for cheap. Bernard Eschi. A, a a right mid for juventus who actually has already had a goal and an assist like he's already had a really good game now he's not getting a lot of time recently but he's a good player right and he gets in sometimes now he's not a consistent starter and juventus is all over the place with who they start and who they don't yesterday this card was sold at 35k all right he's already back up to 45k so if you were able to recognize that he was being panic sold yesterday you would have made a ton of coins if you picked him up at 35k and i did get one the other ones on my trade ball were 45k and I did not sell them. And here's what you guys need to understand. In a market crash, there's two things that you can do. You can prepare and know that a certain event is going to come, like Black Friday in a few weeks, which is going to make everything go down. So you can sell a few weeks before that to make sure you're good. You sold at great prices. You made coins. And then you're liquid. What do I mean by liquid? You have coins in your foot account. You're good. You don't have them in investments. You're just, you're safe. You could do that. Or what happens is like yesterday when the market crashed, I knew the market was going to crash yesterday and I knew it would recover and rebound and it still will rebound more this week because there's no team of the year and I knew there, were, there wasn't going to be. You just hold on to your investments. There's no need to panic. Take advantage of the panic sellers. Don't be one. All right. Let me give you another example. Isco yesterday, right? Isco is usually around 180, 185. Isco went to 155 yesterday on Xbox. All right. I picked up another one and I already had 10, 10 uh, on my trade pause investments. Look at him. He, he is already right chat he is already at 180k and i sold a ton of mine earlier for 185 um it, it it's unbelievable this method guys and you really really need to take advantage of it now the biggest key i would tell you to this method is you got to be patient if you're not patient when you do this method and you settle for a price you're gonna you you may hurt you, you it may hurt it may hurt you you have to be patient what do i mean by that like let, let, let's say this all right so let's go do Kevin De Bruyne, right? And let's say I know he usually sells around 570, right? Let's say he usually sells around 600, right? And I see that maybe a market crash is occurring right now, right? Maybe I think a market crash is going on, but the game is glitching right there. Say I think the market crash is happening right now, and I know that I, I'm trying to get a deal on him, right? And say he usually sells for 590. So say that a bunch are listed on the market for 570, 560, 550, right? But you think, here, here, here here's what I want to say. So like, then be patient right go set your filter to 540 and just sit here and snipe like i don't do sniping guys but just sit here and snipe see if someone lists one's a big undercut because they're scared that's how i got him yesterday he was at 550 and I, I was just searching at 525 i was being greedy and someone listed for 500k they 50k undercut it so that's something to be very 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 aware of and also let's look at this right so tonight guys i've been trying to buy ones to watch lukaku tonight because i'm interested in it i want to get in he's got three games this week and i want to get him for around 920k right uh i can't right but here's what happened earlier right there was one listed for like 949k right no 960k and what i saw was i i went and this is a, a big tip i can give you guys and this is for undercutting during panic selling so i saw three cards here all gonna expire in a 10 minute period so i was like wait a second don't buy the 960 let's see if someone undercuts the 960 because three are expiring chances are that one person will be online and they will go undercut 
right? One person listed for 949, and then there was still two to expire. So I was like, wait a second. I let the 949 sit for a minute. No one bought it for a few minutes. No one bought it. Like, no one touched it. So I was like, okay, these next two are expiring. Let's see if someone goes lower. And then someone listed for 934, and I've been looking at 9, 925. So you know what? I didn't get my target price because I was being greedy, but someone listed all the way down to 924. So that's how you kind of do it. You got to see how many cards are listed if some are expiring. Um, but guys, in Black Friday, take advantage of this method. Make sure you're going to that period liquid. And when you see your players going down 20, 25%, when there's a huge crash, like you see Legend Blanc going down 300K, something like that. We've looked at some graphs. Take advantage. Don't be the guy that sits there and watches that card go up 200k after Black Friday and be upset. Um, because this week, even the last two days, you could have really taken advantage on people panic selling for Team of the Year anticipation. Even yesterday, that's what happened. And I'm I'm making really good coins. I'm going to make probably 400k on flips tonight or tomorrow whenever I choose to sell some of these guys, maybe even later this week. Um, so it is going to be some of the easiest coins if you can understand how to kind of use this panic selling method. Now, we're not the panic sellers. Take advantage of the panic selling. Appreciate you guys watching today. Thank you guys for all the support recently. Hey, let's hit a thousand likes. If you guys hit a thousand likes, I'd really appreciate that. We've been hitting a thousand likes on a lot of videos, so I just want to say thank you guys so much. And as for now, I'm out, boys. Peace out.